Hello? Hello, may I please speak to Justin? This is him. Hello, I'm Kevin with Verizon. I see in our records that you previously bought a new Droid Bionic for $499.99 with a three-year contract. I would just like to know if you'd be interested in a bonus year with a price cut by 25%. I, I didn't buy that. It shows in our records that you did. Um, no, I hope nobody bought it under my account. Uh, let me check some things. Is your your name is Justin, correct? Yeah, but what company are you with? You're with an outside vendor for no Verizon. Um, I'm not with Verizon. I'm with AT and T. Well, it shows that someone bought this at at from your address. Is your address eight one zero nine? Yes. And your name is Justin J U S T I N. What number? Why is the number showing up 914 that you're calling me from? It's just how our phones are set up. Well, I guess I'll call Verizon and address it with them at the store. Okay, I um hold on one second, please, sir. Um, are you saying that you did not purchase this? No, I didn't purchase anything from Verizon. I'm with AT and T. You're with AT and T. So, um, yes. are, are you? Do you have access to your credit card? It's not stolen or anything, correct? Yeah, I mean, I have them with me. It doesn't mean that it couldn't have been stolen. Okay, well, then someone might have bought this under your account, and that right, well, could I'll be a very bad thing. Because this will total up to about four thousand dollars over three years. I'm assuming That's you don't bonus. want the bonus year, right? Since no. you didn't buy this. Well, you should be getting yeah. a bill soon for the and the phone soon. Uh, you want me to tell you the date it was purchased? Uh, yes. You may want to write it down. Do you have pen and paper near you? Yes. Okay, it was purchased on November the 11th. Okay. And I'm sorry to have to ask this again, but you're positive you did not buy it. Yes. Is okay. it, um, was it purchased on a visa? Um, I don't have those records. Our records department does have those, though. Would you like them to give you a call? No, I'll um, just address it with Verizon directly. Okay, would you um, would you like to speak to my supervisor? Um, well, no. I mean, I need to figure out what's going on. You know, it seems like somebody's used my account, and I mean, I understand you're calling me, but I don't know. Yeah, what I'm trying to you're... see if we can redirect the prices so it does not occur on your bill, and you don't get charged for any of this. That's what I would like to do for you, considering you did not buy it. Do you know okay, what I mean? Okay, well, yeah. I mean, I guess if you want to put me on with your supervisor, if somehow he can figure out a way to verify that he's, um, you know, with Verizon and everything, because I just, like I said, I don't have, I've never had any business with them. Okay, um, can I put you on hold for a few minutes? Yes. Okay, please hold. Verizon called me saying that I had, like, bought a new Droid Bionic and, like, $4,000 or this thing. So. What? Um, hello, uh, Justin. Yes. Hello, I'm the supervisor here at Verizon. I'm seeing that you have, uh, some invalid purchases on your account. Is that true? Um, that's what the representative was telling me. I'm about to verify it with my, um, Yeah, he told me a little bit uh, about your problem here. Um, could you please give me the... I don't have this, but 
our records department does have this. I could have them give you a call, but could I just please get the last four digits off your credit card number? It'll help clarify some things. Hello, sir? Uh, yeah, give me a minute. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and let me verify first what has been um, done on the account. Yeah, you might want to write that down. Uh, do you pen and paper near you? Yeah, hang on a second. Um, it looks like someone has forged your signature, which is not good if they did. Where was my signature forged? When was it? Like they forged it in a store? Yeah, it was. Per this was purchased in a store. Well, when you said this is that is not good, I'm trying to get this sorted out so that we can what say that this didn't happen. What day was it charged on? What day? Yeah. It was eleven, November eleventh, November eleventh, two thousand eleven. Was it in a Walmart? No, it was in our Verizon store. Well, I'm not showing anything on my credit card. Have you all not submitted the charge? We haven't billed yet. We just have the phone has been purchased, but the bill has not gone over yet. What? Where was the store it was purchased? Uh, let me check that real quick, okay? Yeah. One second, please, sir. But isn't there, when you open a phone, you have to have picture ID, like everything. I know. I don't know why, how this has happened. I'm very sorry, sir. Hold on. Just Are you, a little see, bit. here's the problem. I mean, obviously, when we're talking about something like this, you're kind of like suspect and stuff. And you guys, like, it called me, but I have no way to verify who you all are. I mean, that's why I can't give you any personal information. Until, okay, that's, that's you know. completely and fine. I, can I just, you want if you can just give me the store to occur at, then I can call that store. I'm about and, to do that, to sir. I just out. need to clarify a few more things and get some few things set out. We don't want this bill to happen to you. Gotcha. Well, okay. I mean, it won't happen to me regardless because the credit card company won't that it'll be between you and them after that because, I mean, I'll just tell them I didn't do it and then they won't charge me. I mean, I've got all that identity protection on my credit cards. That's good. But, but I don't want it to happen to either because... get this yeah. cleared out and stuff. Um, yeah, I agree. Store? I mean, I would assume if somebody opened it in the store, there would be a tape of when they opened it and be able to indicate who it is. Yeah, um, we we can check their we can have them check their tapes. Um, here's the store it was purchased at. You ready to write this down? Yep. Okay, it was purchased at nine four zero nine Shelbyville Road in Louisville, Kentucky, and it's four zero two two two. Four zero two two two. Yes. Would you like the, What's phone, the number? phone number? Uh, yeah. it's area code 502. Yep. 426. 2355. Alright, um. And your name is Justin. Yes. Okay, and I'm sorry to ask this, I just need to since it's around this time. It is around Christmas time. I'm not saying that someone did, but do you have any way that someone may have purchased this for you for Christmas or anything? No, no. It's that it, nobody would do that. I have a corporate phone and nobody would buy anything like that for me. Okay. 
Uh, let me just check some things here real quick, okay? All right. Just putting down here that you did not buy the why, phone. Why did you say it was $4,000 worth of stuff? How, how could that Well, have it's been? not $4,000 worth of stuff all at once, but the contract and the phone together would add up to that over three years. Yeah, who would pay that for a... That's a lot. It's a new phone, well, so... Yeah. Let me uh, just write well, down that's pretty some scary. I don't understand how anybody could do that because I, you know, they would have had to take. Uh, a you said you have security card. on your, uh, like, on your credit card. Did yeah. have you gotten a call recently about that or anything? No, because it's not abnormal for me to go and do something like open an account like that, but. It doesn't make sense that somebody could get through the process because I've opened a phone account and you're required a picture ID and all of that, which would mean that somebody they either could have had got a fake or ID or something. Yeah, but I'm not seeing. Well, I am looking on my. It doesn't tell you what it was purchased with, though. Uh, excuse me. What do you say, sir? Let me, I mean, I guess I can check my um, other my debit card because... It I doesn't say stuff. that. The records department has all that information. I'm really sorry I cannot give you that information. Would you like me to set them up a call to give you before the bill's sent out? Because we don't want that to happen. Um, well, no, I'm going to call the local store. So either way, they're going to have a direction to go with it after I call. Okay, because right now we can't really do anything about the bill. Only the records department. Well, that's does. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Well, you can you can put a note in there that they can call me if they need to. But I mean, like I said, if the bill goes through, I'm just going to put a stop payment on it with my credit card until it gets resolved with the, um, you know, the identity things. Yeah, but, something's um, messed up because this has been happening a lot. I mean, I don't know why. On my account. Happening. No, not on your account, just on people in general. I don't know how this is happening. Seems like something bad's going on. Uh, well, let me just having this issue. let me just write down in your in uh, my notes all the stuff that's been happening. Can I just like put you on hold for just a few few minutes? Uh, yeah, but I just I'd like to get off as soon as possible because I really want to call the store before. Uh, okay, it'll only take just off. a few minutes. Uh, okay, one minute, please. Oh yeah, um can you uh write down a number? So that uh, when you call Verizon, you can have them, you can tell them this number, and they'll already know what's going on with your account. Gotcha. Are you ready to write this down? Yeah. Wait, hold on one second, please. Okay, write down this number. It's six zero three. Just tell me when you are yep. ready. Okay, six zero three, and seven seven two. Yep. Four, A is in Albert, B is in Baxter, and Z as in Zoo. So six zero three seven seven two four A E Z. Yes, and I'm not done yet. There's still some more. Oh, okay. Then the next is two two four seven seven seven. You might want to right. write down Verizon on that or something. Gotcha. Okay. Um, All right. I have just one more thing to clarify. Yes. Uh, give me one second, please, sir.
Um, do you know what Tim? Yes. You do? Yes. Did you know that he set you up on a prank call and you're being pranked right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is he wasting my time? <laughs> is this somebody Hello, that he sir. knows or is it like a service that he's paying to No, um, I'm, uh, uh, you know, Tony. Yeah. I'm, uh, his stepson. Oh my god. What is he doing with himself today that he has time to have people do prank calls? <laughs> he just told me your address, your name, and your phone number, and we got the. I was like, some stuff on. I was like, I'm sitting here looking on this shit. I'm like, there's nothing on my credit card. I was like, none of this shit makes sense. It doesn't even matter because I'm not paying for it. But I was like, I knew he wasn't good enough to do something like that. But you went on for a pretty good amount of time, though. <laughs> yeah, and I was both people. I was the first person you talked to and the second person. Oh, yeah, I thought that, too, when you put it back on. I was like, oh, there's really two Australian guys? I was like, what is this place located in New Zealand? And then every time he kept making me wait to do stuff, I was like, well, he's either stalling, like he needs to, um, like he doesn't know what the hell he wants to say, or it's just bullshit. But I was like, either way, I'm going to be done talking to him. <laughs> yeah, well, there's but, nothing really happening to your account or anything. That was all just a joke. <laughs> well... Well, y'all have fun with it, man. Okay, it was good uh, messing with you. Oh. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.